G'day, Martin here. So, back at it in the tractor. This is now day three of uh, sowing. And we've just tipped over 54 hectares. So that's great. Um, yeah, last time we left off, I had just done a, uh, uh, done a bearing in one of the discs. And uh, turns out I'd done a little bit more than that when I took the thing off. I damaged the thread on the axle, um, so I couldn't get going again last night. I thought about bodging it up and keep going, but we had 0.3 of a mil, believe it or not, at dusk, and that was enough to make everything sticky and muddy and just a mess. So, um, yeah, couldn't do that. Uh, refilled with bird and um, yeah, kept on punching it. So I've got six hectares left to go and then we swap varieties. Looking in the seed box, I reckon we're going to be pretty close to bang on with that, which is good. Um, yeah, and the GPS has been giving me hell all day, as you can hear. There were, I don't know, probably about an hour where I was just freehanding it because it uh, just lost everything. Had no sats, no connection to the base. Actually, it was connecting to the base, but it wasn't bringing in a connection signal. Don't know how that works, but that's what it was doing. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep plugging along and um, get this stuff sewn. Right, we just pulled up for a minute. We've swapped variety. We've just gone from a claim to a uh, Taurus, which is a pretty good variety. And um, yeah, we always intend to swap over in this paddock and start down the far end with a claim where the soil's a bit shallower. Then once we get up here, up onto more of the hill where it's a bit deeper, um, swap onto Taurus, which should be a nice yielder. Then finish off with Taurus down in the road paddock. Um, one, it's got deeper soil there, looks a lot better, will be a lot better. And two, yeah, it'll just look a lot better down on the road uh, with the best variety there. So that's... Um, yeah, that's where we're at there. Obviously, when you swap varieties, you need to recalibrate your cedar. So done that, and it was pretty well bang on, which is um, good. Anyway, back to it. So I think the GPS might finally be playing up in my favour. It's been reading that RTK disconnected running mode uh, now for a couple of runs, but it's still running for the most part. Still does that still running. Um, still says it's got signal, so I don't want to play with anything and uh, yeah, let it think otherwise. Um, yeah, I've got uh, 18 runs left and, um, and then I'm done. They're all short ones, so it's only a couple of hectares. Well, that's annoying. Finally worked out the base station was out of battery and uh, well, I couldn't swap it back over to the other network, um, which is a pain because I had very, very little left to do. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. But we'll ride again in the morning. Right, 
It's uh, 10 past 11, we've got about two hectares left and we're running low on seed. I've got a spare bag up there on the gangway behind me but I'm hoping I don't need it. I'm just really hoping that uh, we can get through without it. Um, yeah, so obviously getting out every hectare or so and uh, checking that I've still got seed and still got enough to get me through the night. So, yeah, hopefully um, we'll finish with what we've got in the box and then I can go home, go to bed. This will be done. Right, oh, we're done. Finally, finished up with a little bit of seed left in the tank, so we still had plenty there, which is good. Well, not plenty, but enough to finish. And um, yeah, what is it? Uh, 11.54, so yeah, pretty well bedtime. Just cutting in a last little headland along the road here at the uh, clutch for the uh, air car playing up and I'm not sure if it's just a bit of a delay in the sensor in the meter sometimes or uh, if it's uh, you've had a bit of a delay in cutting in so uh, just to uh, try and tidy all that up and make sure there's no glaring misses that all the neighbours are going to see along the road uh, just go along and cutting in another headland anyway until next time keep at it